welcome back to our Italian dream house. In today's episode, we start tackling the task we've been putting off for far too long and we encounter an absolute pain catastrophe. Without any further ado, let's get into the episode. Enjoy. Edward, we're yeah. back in the bathroom. One year later, it, it is actually it a is year. Actually one year. <laughs> it is actually a year later. Uh, yeah, it's time to finish this bathroom. Uh, there was a lot of little jobs that were left undone by someone. I, I don't know who. Um, and now we're on a deadline because uh, I have some friends coming to visit in two weeks' time. And it's probably not great for all five of us to have to share one bathroom. So we get this one done and then there's two bathrooms between five people. So we'll, me. I think we'll do men's and women's bathrooms. Mm, or owners of the house, guests of the house. Okay. How about that? I prefer men's and women's because mm. then I have this to myself. Yeah, we can share. Uh, we have done for 10 years, so yeah. what's another couple of weeks? Uh, yeah, so the list, the main projects on the list is glass doors, so the shower doors install, uh, sort all of the power, there's a little bit of work with the shower that needs doing, and then we need to finish plastering the top section. Uh, yeah, actually that's, that's it for this room. I put a, a towel heater on the wall, but there's no plumbing for it yet anyway, but we'll put it on the wall. Uh, I'm gonna be a bit smug now, but looking at you while filming, stood in that shower, that is a great looking shower. Yeah, it would be good. Jesus! Who came up with that design? Me, I think. <laughs> Thanks. I'll take the credit. Hmm? Can't wait to use this bathroom. to the gym entrance storage room. I've had one of those days where I started or trying, tried to get started with this project at like nine o'clock this morning. So I've been to three different places now to find the paint. And in the end, I just kind of gave up and paid double the price for it just to get it so I could get home and get started. Started preparing here and ran out of tape. I'm gonna paint anyway. I just have to repaint the white. White, once I have tape, because I'm gonna paint. Guess what color we are gonna paint? It's green, but it's a different shade of green. Um, it's more of a sage green, which I really like, and I think it will go really well with the um, Marathi pipes. So I'm not gonna stand here and listen to the sound of my own voice. I am gonna get started. Very interesting. when we go with like our color code it turned out less like strong you mix it yeah usually we get yeah. the, the gray more version. gray 
pastel. There so again. what's interesting, okay, so this is a picture of the NCX like color, uh, which we have also chosen from like a color chart in the store. That's this. We can put it here next to this. But what's interesting is that my first color sample was a Jotun Swedish or Danish brand, Jotun um, paint called Subtle Green. And this is actually pretty much exactly subtle green. The subtle green is not the NCS color that we picked in the end. So maybe it's your destiny. We are green. It's a greenhouse. I think it is. <laughs> actually, it's probably a fortunate mistake because it could have turned out lime green. It could have turned out bogey green, but it turned out subtle green. So I think just go for it. Let's paint the whole room, see how it looks. Probably going to need two coats to really get a feel for it. And we just go for it. Why not? Could be great. But you won't know until you try. Yeah. Okay. So do you think I should pour some into this thing? But I would just do a roller. But I'm thinking I need to cut in. Oh yeah, do the cutting in. Mm. Yeah. Or I'd just do it straight from the bucket. Okay. It's fine. Another job on the endless list of jobs that I haven't yet got around to doing <laughs> uh, is installing the light here in this hallway. Uh, the wires have been there for probably a year now and I just haven't got around to doing it. So two housekeeping points. In Italy, you are allowed to install your own lights, uh, swap light switches, install plug sockets. Um, it's all part of what's known as general maintenance. Um, within a renovation or within just doing up your house. And the second point is that I have actually, as part of my degree, um, had a number of electrical engineering modules. So I vaguely know what I'm doing. I'm not a professional, but I have a basic understanding of how to wire things in and how it works. As may be demonstrated by this relay that I just put in. Yeah, cool. Um, so we got this little light from Ikea, it's going to go on the wall here, the switch is here, it should be just as simple as wiring in the live, well the switched live, the neutral and the uh, earth, and that should be good to go then. The switch I've already wired in, we have live in, switch live out, which goes to the light, jobs are good in. system. Fancy little toolkit you got there. Yeah, shout out Kai Wheats. Uh, sent me this one, sent us this one, but I'm the one that's been using it. It's you great. think it was a hint that they've seen on our videos that we were missing like plug sockets and things? Yeah, probably. They knew that that work was coming up and they thought about it. It was very nice. This was actually a Christmas gift from them. They sent us a little Christmas pack. Um, they're the same people that sent us the 360 laser and this has been amazing. Uh, can I have my... <laughs> Sorry, I need it for me. Please buy my drill. So, uh, assistant extraordinaire. Yep, that's me. Hammer. All right. I got you a hammer drill. Is. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Good one, eh? Are we being those YouTubers now who once like made a whole episode about how we install an IKEA light? 
Uh, I don't know, but that sounds like a cool. That sounds a cool thing to make an yeah, episode about. <laughs> oh, into these. Okay, another present from Kai Wheats. Any backup, mate? That's it. Well done. And they are wire strippers, so they're really cool. Um, you just put them inside, click it, and it strips the end off the cover, and then you are ready to wire in. It's very cool stuff. No faffing around with a Stanley blade or you know a pair of uh, wire cutters trying to just finely cut it and then peel it off the cover. It does it automatically. It's an absolute game changer. So we have also paid someone to do all of this electrical work and hired someone. Ooh, can't believe it. Huh. That hasn't happened on this project before, has it? No. Okay, the light is on the wall and the bulb. This is so exciting. The eagle has landed. Okay, power on. Switch the light. Da -da 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 -da. Luce! Oh, that was pretty strong, but it might be good here. That's cool. Maybe a little gallery. Yeah, we can do something here. Then we need more lights. Mm. One really amazing art piece. I can do you a sketch if you want with my toes. <laughs> you look great. I'm going to shine your light on it. As a bonus to Emily's OCD, maybe? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, hidden the cable as well. Almost. It's the mains in cable, so we're not actually allowed to do any work with it because it's owned by the electrical company, but I've tied it up out of the way, so don't tell anyone. Welcome to the paint laboratory. Obviously, this green was not really the green that we were looking for for this room. Why is that obvious? Talk us through it. I just think I would have loved it if I was like an eight-year-old boy. Why? But I'm not, because it's very uh, pop. There's no grey in it. It's kind of like, I think it's like the green I kind of wanted. It was just as if they forgot to put the grey in. And it's a bit too dark. So what I'm doing, since we're on a budget and I just spent 90 euros on paint, I am trying to find, match the paints that we have to find the perfect color. So move over to the paint samples. Above the shoes. Above <laughs> the shoes. This is obviously the old paint. This is the green paint with about 30% white. This is the green paint with about 50-50 white. This is the 50-50 with a little splash of our dark green with gray. And this is, let's say, 60-40 white to green with that splash of gray, green. So we'll see when it dries. That is very confusing. <laughs> it's very confusing for me too. Uh, I just want to get an idea about like the ratio and if this is salvageable or if we just have to bin this paint and come up with a new solution. Keep it white. Whilst Emily is fixing the paint catastrophe, we've decided to divide and conquer. And my task is to finish off a lot of the leftover jobs in the cantina so that we can draw a line under it and call that room finished. Uh, until we can get the furniture and get the plumber back, etc. So, yesterday I was just finishing off some tiling. I didn't actually film that because 
we've have hundreds of videos of tiling now and maybe it's not so interesting and it was just a few off cuts but something that could be interesting is that this step which our builders put in because they had to raise the floor in here to insulate it and run uh, tubes and electricity underneath let's just say that they did not use a spirit level when building this or maybe their eyes at all because it is so wonky that it needs to be fixed so I'm going to grab the camera, I'm going to give you a close-up and we're going to have a look at what's wrong with it and what we can do to fix it. So to fix this, I'm going to mix up some cement. I'm going to build um, a little flange, a threshold, and I'm going to pour the cement inside and then we're going to leave it for a day or two to go off and then I can tile. So basically I can then finish tiling out um, to the edge of the step and I can tile the actual edge of the step as well. And we can do it all in our nice terracotta effect tiles so that everything flows through and looks good. And you've done this before, it's a third It's step. exactly the same as we did in the kitchen. And in the sala. Uh, yeah, we haven't tiled there yet, but in the kitchen I've tiled and it looks really good. So that's what we're going to try and recreate here. So that's the job. I'm going to go mix some cement. Welcome in to this green oasis. <laughs> Out of everything that's gone wrong during our renovation, I would say that this is the most visually obvious one. <laughs> We left it to dry overnight and I still painted almost the whole room because I wanted to get a feel for it and not just give up. But as I suspected, it turned worse. <laughs> it got even more green. Um, I was hoping that the grey tones would come out when it was drying, but that was just wishful thinking. Uh, it is critically green and it's going. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to rescue this room from the green paint. Starting by repainting everything white and then painting, I'm going to mix my own paint. Uh, I think we have decided on the top sample. I'm going to do one more that I'm interested to see, but it, I think it's going to be this one. Um, and then, I mean, I need to let this dry and then we can paint the green. It's Which green? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just a bit like, it's a bit time consuming. One of our biggest challenges renovating here in Italy, um, which our Italian friends are having the same issues as well, is it seems like the, the supply stores carry very little stock, meaning that quite often when we need something, we have to go around to like three different stores, which can, like yesterday I spent over three hours getting this paint because I had to go to three different stores. Some were out of the green in their like mix thing. Another one was out of the actual paint. And then the third one had everything, but it turned out that they must have been out of gray in their <laughs> mixer. Um, so it just takes days extra to get hold of the, the material. my preparations for fixing this step. I cut some OSB to the correct length and I'm using a concrete block to hold it in place. I've just mixed up some liquid screed. It's, um, it's called Masterflow and it's a composite uh, cement based mortar um, but it's like a flowy one. Uh, and it's rated for up to uh, 10 to 12 centimeters in, um, in depth. So it should be perfect for filling this gap because it will pour straight in and it will go off in about two hours. I think it goes uh, touch dry. So that will be really useful. And then tomorrow we'll be able to tile. Um, so I'm not sure I've mixed enough, but it's enough to get started. Two hours later, actually it might be closer to three hours later. Uh, I'm gonna remove this now. It says it has an 80 minute drying time uh, and it's hard to the touch. So let's see how it looks. Wow. 
Wowzers. I just finished painting white in here. It's not perfect, but it doesn't need to be perfect because I'm going to paint two coats of uh, the new green gray that we are choosing. Um, let me show you the samples one more time. So here we are. This is the one that I just painted over. It's funny because together with other greens, it, it looks quite nice, but they definitely not look nice on such a big wall space. Um, so again, I think actually, even though we added a new paint up in the right corner, um, I still think I want to go with the middle, that one. I think that's most us and will look best with the tiles. We'll see. Little detail. Uh, yeah, bottom is really nice with that too, but I'm a bit worried that the bottom is too similar to... <laughs> yeah, 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 you're jättekul. Jättekul. Tack. What do you think? Middle or bottom right? Top. No, I'm kidding. Uh, honestly, mm. I don't really care. You don't care. You even tried to keep the other one just to like save some work and like money. You were like, it looks great. Let's just keep it. Yeah, someone's got to be positive sometimes. <laughs> This one I like. Yeah. It's a bit darker, I think. Mm. Grayer. Mm. This one's more green. I like that one. Yeah, should we just go with that? Yeah. We are back and with dry white walls. It's time to repaint and redo this paint disaster. Um, we found a mix that we were happy with, mixing together actually just old paint that we've been using throughout the house. Uh, it looks really good, so I'm feeling, I'm not going to say confident, I'm going to say hopeful. I feel hopeful. So, let's get started. We spent about an hour getting this mix right and then we had some friends coming to check out the house so it was a nice break but now we're gonna paint I'm so scared but I think it'll be good should we do it? Are you ready? Da -da -da -da. It's really cool because this is kind of the color I had in mind from the very first beginning. I wanted like a sage green with quite a lot of gray in it and I feel like that's what we have. What do you think? I like it. Yeah. Big improvement. It's still green but it's not as aggressively green as the other one. Welcome back to our green entrance. This time, a lot nicer green. Uh, the color or the paint is dry now. Uh, we did two coats yesterday and it turned out really, really great. It's still not exactly the shade I had in mind from the beginning, but it might actually be even better. So in the end, this huge paint, epic paint failure, turned into a really valuable lesson and a pretty epic looking room. Hope you like it.
Thank you so much for watching. Do please consider liking, subscribing and hitting that notification bell. It really does help us out and we will see you in the next video.